Yes my people, welcome back to another video on the channel. As you can sort of tell from the title, it's going to be a Q&A type of video. I had to go and get a trim for the video because I haven't had a trim for like two, three weeks and I was looking a little bit homeless. But I've even started to grow out a, li a little beard. What was hand? What was hand? Looking a bit bum fluffy right now, but give me a few more weeks, yeah? And I'll be strong. I'm praying anyway. Guys, I have been busy with football, um, so I haven't really been focusing on my YouTube and getting the content out for you guys, just because I haven't really been home. I've been driving everywhere, left, right, and centre. I've done like, one thousand, I've done like 1,500 miles in my car in the last two weeks, which is a joke, by the way. I don't know how my car is hacking it, to be fair, so I am probably going to be looking to get a new car soon, if I'm being honest. So, guys, I have done a Q&A before, and I have seen a lot of comments down below saying that you want to see another Q&A and things like that. She did put out on my Instagram where you can guys could ask me questions. I've got them all here. So, yeah, I'm just going to be answering a few of them. Yes, guys, quickly, just before we get into the rest of the video, this video is actually sponsored by One Football. We love One Football over here. You guys will know they're sponsored quite a few videos now. One Football is an all-round footballing app. Um, which tells you all the latest news, everything you need related to football, okay? It's all condensed into this app, all right? You can follow all of your favourite teams. So, for me, I've selected Norwich City. So, you can see all the latest transfer news. There's loads of football-related videos of all the goals, all the highlights from all the games and stuff that are being played. Keep up to date with all the football games because it tells you all the times. And just loads of other news articles and stuff relating to football. So... For all of the best football news and the best football app on the App Store, completely free, make sure you download the One Football app through my link in the description or on the App Store. Connor Parsons fan page. So I've actually got someone's actually made a fan page with me. Favorite match you have watched live when you ball boyed for Norwich? Obviously, growing up, I was at Norwich City um, Academy, and when we was younger, from like 12 to like 14, um, we used to be able to like ball boy the football matches. So I was able to ball boy like most of the Premier League games which is pretty sick so I've been within touching distance of all like the best players in the world like Suarez when obviously when he was in the Prem, Aguero, Rooney, Gerrard, De Gea like all the big names that you see Silva, Sterling you name it I've been within touching distance of them because I used to ball boy but yeah they were just the names that come to the top of my head because I remember watching them play probably the best game I've watched uh, that's probably a hard question to answer really because there's been a lot of sick games and Norwich didn't really do that one of the Prem so it wasn't really great for me but yeah only time I got to watch like Man City or Liverpool or Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham, Man U, all them big teams um, they were probably the favourite games because that had all the stars in. Robin Van, Robin Van Dua, I don't know if I said your name right. How do you stay motivated to keep training hard? I myself have problems with motivating myself. I get this question a lot, okay, about motivation. And probably my motivation comes from rejection or proving people wrong. I don't, I know how good I am. I know my standards. I know what I want to get. I know where I want to be in life. You know what I mean? I don't want to live no average life. I want to leave a mark, do you know what I mean? Um, and that's not going to come easy. You have to put in the work, baby. You know what I mean? You have to put in that. You have to put in that work. So if you want to do something with your life, you know what you want to do, you go and get it. And I feel like there's no real way of explaining motivation or how do you motivate yourself because I feel like it comes within yourself and your heart. So it's just how bad do you want it? Do you know what I mean? It's not going to come easy. Shot underscore M underscore seven. Favourite web series? Um, I'm guessing this is just like a Netflix series, but my favourite, I'll probably say my favourite ever was probably Money Heist. So if you haven't seen Money Heist on Netflix, I'd recommend that strongly or prison break was pretty good as well freddy underscore harrison 05 said have you got any big opportunities coming up with clubs so obviously i've been at a few clubs um i've got a few clubs wanting me to go in so we'll have to see what i can do and if i can impress really so it's on me the only thing with like going from club to club is like there's obviously there's a lot of pressure involved do you know what i mean so i go into this thinking i've, I've got nothing to lose really so I try and be as confident as possible, just show my thing. When I've got the ball, I just try and do what I can, do you know what I mean? Um, I do my thing, I believe in myself, I just go and show them. That's what I've been trying to do. I've been doing well in the few games that I've played. I've played played three games now, I've scored three goals, played against a team in League 2, which I've done pretty well against, I was pretty happy with my performance. Um, so overall, I've been doing really, really well. 
Um, so we'll just have to see what comes of it. I just need a manager that believes in me, just wants to work with me. Because if I have a manager that can believe in me, they know that week in, week out, I'll give them 100, 110%. Like, there's no failing that. I'll always give my all. And if I just have a manager that'll believe in me, like I said, I'll just, I'll strive. Like, just need that person. CJH underscore 2005 said, you're a drippy guy. What can I say? I've got the drip. I've got the... Yeah, that didn't really flow off my tongue right. I'm going to leave that one. Nabil Menza said, what advice would you give a young footballer trying to get scouted? So, the best advice I can give really to all of you youngsters that watch my videos and you're trying to get scouted, the harsh reality of it is you've got to be the best in your team. You've got to show that you're the hardest worker. You've got to show you've got the most talent, do you know what I mean? Because academies and scouts can pick whoever they want across the country. Well, depending on what category they're in, of course. Like there's in academies, there's something called category one, category two, category three, and category four. So like category one standard club is usually like all the big clubs. So like the Man U, the Chelsea, the Arsenal, the Tottenham, the Man City, obviously. I was at Norwich, they're a category one club. So it's the clubs with like the most money are usually category one standard because that means they've got the best facilities. And then it goes to category two, then category three. So the lower the categories is like lower the facility, like the facilities get a little bit worse and how much money they can invest into their academy. And like the lower their category, like they can only get you from certain areas. So like category one, they can like go abroad, wherever really. And category two, three and like downwards, there's like a little bit more limitations on that. Best advice I can get, obviously scouts can pick whoever they want. So you've got to be the best player in your league, best player in your team. So every single game, you've got to treat it like this is a final, do you know what I mean? Like, I've got to be on it. I've got to prepare for it properly. I've got to be on it because anyone can be watching at any time. You can have, there could be someone watching. It might not even be a scout, but you might know a scout. He might know someone and he might, he might, oh my God, this kid is unreal. I'm going to drop this guy a message, blah, blah, blah. Boom. One week later, he's got in contact with your manager and you've got a trial somewhere. Yeah? You've got to take every single game like it's a final, okay? Because you never know who's watching. Especially tournaments, right? I know, like, when I was growing up, I was playing in a lot of, like, little football tournaments on the weekends, like, little five-a-side tournaments, seven-a-side, whatever it is. That's where scouts love to be because they can see so many people at once. So if you're playing in tournaments, that's your time to shine. So Joe underscore Aaron said, what division team will you join? Like, League One, League Two, or Championship? So if I'm going to be honest with you guys, like, for me... You need to understand that I haven't actually played much like men's football. Obviously, I had a big injury, my ACL, I come back in like October and I played a few games, obviously with the 23s, I only played like three, four games and that's not men's football, okay, that's academy. And... All right, mate. Oh, just trying to just trying to film a Q&A, mate. Now, mate. And you're just like interrupting, do you know what I mean? Hello, everyone, I said hello. Say hello then. Worst oh, trim on the net. Uh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, um, I played like three, four games. So obviously Norwich 23s. It's not men's football really. And then I left in December. I went and joined like a local team and played men's football there. Played like, played like 12 games I think. And then obviously the virus come about. So it's hard for me to go into like a profession into the professional league and play first team because realistically that is just not going to happen because i haven't really got any experience or games under my belt even though technically i know i'm good enough for like when i played against the league two team i played against um yesterday it was so when you see this video i think it'll be two days ago so on the saturday that's just gone um i didn't feel out of place i felt like I could handle that standard. I felt like that was that was where I needed to be. But I just haven't got any experience or anything to my name yet. So I kind of, I'm aiming really for like the National League, National League North or South, which is a league below League Two or two leagues below like the professional leagues. Because I'm young, um, if I get 30, 40 games and smash it in them leagues, um, the scouts are always looking to them leagues. So if they can see a youngster is doing well, performing within a season or two i'll be straight in the professional league so that is my aim to play men's football because that's where you improve the most academies i could go into another 23s academy in the professional leagues but i don't really think it helps you that much um so yeah we underscore 17 
said, would you rather win a World Cup for your country or win Champions League? That is a great question. But I personally, I think winning the World Cup because that would be unbelievable. Like you're playing on the world stage and obviously the hype around World Cup, like people who don't even like football, yeah, get involved when the World Cup's about. So yeah, obviously when the World Cup's about, the vibe is just different gravies, you know what I mean? Everyone's watching football. Everyone's loving life. The World Cup would be mad. Imagine winning the World Cup. Like, you'd be you'd be like a hero in your country. So, yeah, I'd want to win the World Cup over Champions League. Let me know in the comments below. Would you rather win World Cup or Champions League? So this is a good question, Gary Ortiz underscore. Have you ever felt like not playing anymore, like a loss of motivation? So, obviously, um, when I left Norwich and stuff, and I had big injuries and that, I didn't enjoy playing football. If I'm being honest, like. I lost my motivation to play football. That's the main reason why I left Norwich because I wasn't enjoying football. I just wasn't enjoying it. And I was turning up to train every day and I just didn't really want to be there because I didn't feel like I was getting an opportunity. I didn't really feel wanted. It sounds bad because I would love to be in that position. So like right now, I'd love to be back in that environment and I'd love to have that opportunity because I know now that mentally I'm in a good space, um, I feel sharp, I feel at the peak of my game, I knew that I know that I'll be able to make use of them facilities properly and just be able to strive because growing up in the academy and in that professional environment and that being my normality every single day, you don't actually realise how lucky you are to be in them shoes and how many people would love to be in your position. Coming out of that, seven months later down the line, now you, I realise how lucky I was to be in that position, do you know what I mean? And how lucky you are to have them facilities. So if anyone watching this video is in academies, because um, I know I get a lot of academy boys watch my videos, my, my little ballers, um, you guys are lucky, okay? And you need to make the most of it, because once you're out of it, it's hard, okay? You need to have that motivation to try and get back into it. So that's why I've been training hard every single day from these videos. You see, I make the most of what I can. Obviously, I'm quite lucky. I've got a good connection with my local football club. So I get to use other facilities and stuff. But yeah, it's nothing like what it is being at a professional environment. So I've definitely felt like not wanting to play anymore and have a, had a loss of motivation. But that's just part of the journey. Have you played in any games? All right, so I have played in a few games. Um, I actually did show the highlights from one of my first games that I played. So if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure you go check it out. I scored two goals in a 4-0 win. One was on my left foot and one was actually a penalty. So they're actually, I was actually pretty happy with that because that was my weaker foot. And you know, you guys know that I've been watching the vlogs, been watching the channel that I've been working on my left foot a lot so it was good to see that that's been paying off and to do it in a game because that's when it matters the most and I did actually play in another game um, for another team where we drew 1-1 I actually scored the equaliser I did actually put the goal I scored on my Instagram but I'll show it here But yeah, it was a pretty, it was a pretty good finish. I was pretty happy with that. I'd kind of just run at the defender, done a step over, hit it down the line, chopped it back, and just whipped it into the stanch. The camera angle did mess up a little bit. Um, but yeah, you can't, you can kind of see how it went in. Old brother said, "Have you always been a skinny kid growing up?" So growing up, I was known as the skinny kid that could just run around, was energetic, and do you know what I mean. I was a small skinny kid, all right. Um, but right now, I feel like I'm in a really good physical shape. I'm quite muscly now. Um, I'm not massive. Like, I'm not saying on the pitch, I'm body and man them, you know, you know what I mean? I'm not body and man, but I'm able to hold my ground now, you know what I mean? I've put on good muscle, I've worked hard in the gym. Um, like, when I got injured with my ACL, obviously I was out for like 15 months altogether. I was able to really work on my upper body and my legs and building that muscle, do you know what I mean? So. I'm now in a state where my body's in good shape really, I'm happy. am.adam underscore one said, how tall are you and what is your weight? So, I like to tell the gal them, yeah, I'm six foot, you know what I mean? Yeah, we told them six foot, but you can't tell anyone, but I'm five foot nine, yeah? Five foot nine, when I got my boots on, probably five foot ten, come on, put me up a bit. The five foot nine, um, and I weigh 68 to 70 kg. Um, so 
So yeah. Adam Adam Karis said, what did you first make? When did you first make an academy? What age? So I was 11 um, when I first got scouted um, and joined an academy. And then I was in an academy from 11 till 19. Ahmad underscore Safi underscore seven said, Messi and Ronaldo, CR7 all day. I'm not saying Messi's not a bad player. I feel like that's the thing where people go wrong. People will say Messi or Ronaldo. If someone says one or the other, they instantly think, oh my God, you think this, how are you trying to say he's bad? That, I'm not trying to say that. Messi's the second best player in the world. Ronaldo is just better. He's done the Champions League, he's done it for his country, he's done it in the Prem, done it in the Liga, and he's now doing Italy. So, you know what I mean? Wherever he goes, he sets records, um, he stays on top, and he's just an all-round athlete. He's worked bloody hard for it, yeah? He's worked hard, which is what I admire the most about him. He is a proper inspiration, do you know what I mean? I'm not saying Messi's not. I feel like Messi is just more of a naturally raw talent. He just it just it just comes to him like that. I feel like Ronaldo's worked on it more. Do you know what I mean? And he deserves everything that's come his way. Do you know what I mean? Because he's now like 35. I think he's 35, 36. I don't know exactly. And he's got like a body of like a 21 year old or something like that. 23 year old, statistically, like that's a joke. And he still works hard every single day, doing all his extras and. Yeah, that's my guy.